Now the roads here are extremely hilly, which is very bad when you're this heavy. Also, these people are gonna merge. Dude, I can't freaking slow down. You gotta speed up. Oh, that's why there's so much traffic. I'm in Dallas, Texas. Oh my gosh. Good morning. It is 8 a.m. I'm currently in um, Seminole, Texas, I think. I'm not sure. I'm somewhere in Texas. I'm here to get loaded, my trailer loaded, but this is absolutely filthy. So I have to clean that. And then after I get loaded, I can go and make the delivery all the way down to Jacksonville, Florida. It's it's a 20, literally a 22 or 24 hour trip. It's insane. The last delivery I had, it had a bunch of uh, pet food and this is like, it's all corn. So I'm thinking, is that, that chicken food? Now I need to figure out how the heck I'm going to back into this. I got into a complicated situation right now. I see. How the heck I'm going to get this done. I need to park next to that one by the trash can. This is the most complicated backing ever. I'm used to going to um, a bunch of warehouses. At the warehouses you have all the space you could ever need. I gotta move the um, gotta move the tandems back on the trailer wheels. And once I move the trailer wheels, then it should be fine. Because it is straight. <coughs> oh, so. Alright, let me let me pull up. Or even this guy, he's like, he's like, I don't freaking know either. <laughs> this is, this is a freaking crazy. Right. Now, just reverse straight back. just finished they just gave me my paperwork so they're done loading the trailer all right and now I cannot make that turn <laughs> so I gotta move the trailer wheels more forward so I can I don't have to make insanely wide turns uh, one two three if I can make this turn. I don't think so. But... Oh gosh. Alright. Now we got clip. Oh, I gotta get the paperwork. Alright, this place is freaking insane. Now... The trailer is not all the way full, so I need to secure it with this, so that way every time I break the, the whole palace don't shift around. But even though it's not full, this thing is insanely heavy. The paperwork said it was 43,000 and something pounds. I think the max you can load a trailer is like 45, 45 something? 45, five maybe? So this is, in total, it's probably at, it, it's got to be at least like 77,000 pounds. 
How does this work? Alright, that looks good enough. Alright, where you baby at? I need to fill in the paperwork, then I need to go to a truck stop to one of those giant scales to make sure I'm within the legal weight limit. Okay, Garmin, truck stop along my route. All right, there's one. Oh, one, that is next stop. Going to pilot on Old Dennis Road in weather. Now where is the scale? Since the app doesn't work, I have to push this button. Now, where is there a place to park? I just need to get a fuel ticket. It'll take like probably 15 minutes. I need the world's easiest parking spot. Here, I'll park in the back. There's usually always parking in the back over there. Unless I can go there. No, all the pumps are full. Where is he going? Uh, oh, there's a guy. Where's this guy going? Alright. Yeah, there's always parking at the very back. Why is this guy parked there? You're not gonna believe what I found at this truck stop. <laughs> Look at this. There's freaking goats. There's goats. What the heck? <laughs> I'm gonna name that one Billy. Why are there goats at a truck stop? That is the most random thing I've ever freaking seen. That's insane. I gotta go inside to get the yellow ticket to see how much um, the truck actually weighs. Six, seven, four, five, eight. I have a scale ticket. Welcome pilot. You have a good day. Right, good thank morning. You. Thank you. All right, here's a ticket. The max weight we can have 34,000 pounds. We're at 33,420. But that is with, um, that's with pretty much full on fuel. So I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to move anything. It's all done. And also, <laughs> I have to go on my way to Florida. But look at this. It's 15 hours. I'm in Texas right now. Literally, literally, literally going across half the country right now. That's insane. Alright. Why did that guy park there? I can freaking make this turn, guy! Jeez. This load, this truck is really heavy. I like, I'm going downhill right now. I, I have to hold the brakes down and I gotta maintain this distance between whoever's in front of me. Cause this thing, it, it really can't stop. And there's a lot of traffic here. Even though it's 10, 23 in the morning, I don't know where these, there's a whole line of traffic. It's insane. But we'll see how the drive goes. There are so many freaking people here. 
Ooh, and then it's going to slow down. Hey, we should be fine. Oh, this guy. This guy. Always oh, that one guy. Oh my god, what is that? What is that car? Now the roads here are extremely hilly, which is very bad when you're this heavy. Also, these people are gonna merge. Dude, I can't freaking slow down. You gotta speed up. Every time I slam on my brakes, I go to freaking like, oh my gosh. I slow down like 45 miles an hour. Then it takes like three miles to build up back to 66. Oi, oi, oi. Why are these guys breaking? What? Why is this guy breaking? What is it? Wait. Oi, oi, oi. All right, 25 mile an hour curve. Oi, oi, oi. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. Slow it down, slow it down. In the left lane. Left lane? Oh my. Alright, come on pickup truck. Come on pickup truck. This is... The absolute worst place to drive a semi truck. Absolute worst place. I don't even know where I am. All right, no, no, they—they're merging into this lane. This lane stays. Okay. I gotta make my way to the left lane because that's where they put the freaking exit. Why? Hey, oh, they actually moved for me. Well, that was nice. That was easy. I gotta find a place to park in about three, three to four hours, like 180 to 240 mile. Okay, Garmin, truck stop along my route. Oh, that's why there's so much traffic. I'm in Dallas, Texas. Oh my gosh. Scroll down. Oh, jeez. You know what? I'm just going to stay in this lane because people keep on coming in and merging in. I have to keep on slamming my brakes. And I'm too heavy to be slamming my brakes. Scroll up. Let's do something different. What is Dixie Travel Center? I'm going to try that. Start new route. Going to Dixie Travel Center on Highway 80 in Dixie Inn, Louisiana. I've never ever heard of that, so let's see what it's Continue like. On I-20. You better not cut me off, Candy. You're gonna end up flat as a pancake. I promise you that. This thing does not stop. There is a freaking house on the highway. It's one of those trucks carrying a freaking house. He is blocking everything. I want to like passing on the right. At the same time, I gotta wait for this guy to merge in. Oh my gosh, another hill. Yeah, now the pickup truck is merging in. Ay, ay, ay. It's going 58 miles an hour. All right, now more people. Blue card merging in. Ay, ay, ay. All right, after this car. After this car. There's a white car. All right. Come on, Gerald. Pass this guy. Go. That's a 
nice house though. That is a freaking luxury. Um, that's a luxury mobile home. I'm past this guy. Full speed. There we go. Alright, so now it's 200 and I think 20 miles to Dixie Travel Plaza in Louisiana. We'll see what that's like. Alright, I forgot to film, but I'm at a rest area right now. I just realized that I only have six hours of working time for the rest of the week. So basically, today's my last day of working. So I can't go to that travel plaza. I can't go to a truck stop because I have I have all this laundry I gotta do and I need a place with a shower to take my like day and a half break off. So hopefully, I mean, there's gotta be a company location around here, right? So that's what I'm trying to look for. Now wait a minute, it says tomorrow I gain about 12 hours of drive time. And then I, I have 13, about 14 hours left. I, I can literally just barely make this. Okay, so I won't be able to take my day off another two or three days. All right, that's what I'm gonna have to do. All right, okay Garmin, truck stop along my route. And then I can do laundry in about three. What do you mean there's no truck stop? We got like freaking four states I gotta go through. What do you mean there's no truck stop? Okay, Garmin. Truck stop along my route. I think I'll just I'll just use my two Which hours like? that I have today and leave 49 minutes. That'll be like 120 miles is what I want. This one. Let's start new route. Going to Lowe's Travel Stop on Industrial Drive in Minden, Hi. Louisiana. I'll get there around 3 o'clock. Alright. Yeah, I'll put the freaking hazards on. 131 miles an hour. But... So I'm going to use the two hours out of the two hours, 48 minutes of drive time that I have today. And then I'll shut down and then tomorrow I'll basically drive the whole day. Probably make it. I'm about 10 minutes away from the truck stop and it took me to downtown Minden, Louisiana. A very small town. What do we have here? What is this building? It looks like some sort of government. Oh yeah, that is. It's a police station. I wonder where the best food is. I'm so hungry. Wow, there's an ancient Coca-Cola sign. Is it Griddler's? Glass. I do not fit in this lane, by the way. <laughs> I am riding the dash line. In one quarter mile, turn right on West Homer Road. Wow, look at this house. That is like... Turn right at the traffic light. Wow. That looks like a... It has the pillars like the White House did. That's insane. Oh, there we go. We going. We going. Look at these. This is a rich town. You can tell by the houses. Oh, make that turn. In one and three quarter miles, oh, turn right on Louisiana 531. This is a cute little town. Brookshire's grocery store. Never ever heard of that grocery store. Oh, I just ran over the curb. What are you doing? Gosh, this freaking guy. Gosh, freaking idiot. Stop 
middle of the lane. There's the loves. It's literally in the middle of Farmville. Just nowhere. We ran. There's a casino. Turn right in the traffic light. Where? I can't see if there's entrance or exit because. Uh, who cares? Oh, we can park in the back. Yes. There's always parking. If you're ever struggling for parking, go to the very, very, very back because no one wants to park there because so far it's such far of a walk. But there's always parking there. Plus, you have a less chance of getting your truck hit because, again, no one wants to park back there. And less traffic going back there. And yes, I did just turn on my turn signal and the truck stopped. Because safety. <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm probably the only freaking person to ever do that. Alright, let's see. I want to park right in front of the shop. Uh, we'll park right in this spot right here. Oh, this doesn't look good. It has a slope. Just a little bit crooked. And there. All right, all right, we got it. We got it. Okay, I have about 12 hours and 10 minutes to complete the delivery. And then this popped up. Route may be affected by Central Florida floods from that big hurricane that passed through. Which I didn't think about at all. So we'll see how that ends up. Hopefully they'll be cleared up by then. Maybe. But this is going to be another. It's going to take me another two days to get there. Uh, what's this guy doing? Let me just stare at this guy and judge this guy as he's backing. <laughs> Oh, well, he got it. He got it. He's a flatbed. Anyways, link to apply to variant is in the description. Uh, subscribe and like and all that. Uh, I'm done for the day. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you watch next time. Bye-bye.